Hi everyone, this is Michelle, Learning to be Thin, and um, it is July 22nd, and my normal weigh-in is on the 21st on Thursday, but I didn't want to go two weeks without checking in. Um, last week, <clears throat> I was out of town because of uh, I went to a convention in Ohio for a product that I'm selling um, called 31, and it was a great, great convention. It was fun to, to just get out of town and not think about everything else that's going on around here, and um, that was great. But that week, I, I don't even know what I weighed that week. Um, you know, that was the true uh, get out of town, my band took a vacation type four days. Um, I knew it was going to be bad when the person that I was staying with sent me an email asking me what my favorite alcohol and chalk and candy was, chocolate was. And I could have, you know, at that point said, none for me, I'm going to try not to do that. No, I didn't do it. I actually told her what it was and, yeah, probably drank a little bit too much. We drank every night, and I haven't drank every night in years, 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 years. So we drank every night, and um, when you're drinking, you'll eat the Oreo cookies, and you'll have the Dove chocolate and the other crappy crap that's there. So I did that, and um, I just, I can't even fathom how many calories I ate. I know during the day I didn't eat much because I was so busy. I mean, our days were completely packed with classes and um, seminars and stuff. Uh, there was one lunch that they made that was a lasagna lunch, and it was a choice of like lasagna, salad, breadstick. I didn't get the breadstick. I got a small piece of lasagna, and I got a big salad. And I'm not even paying attention, and I'm eating the lasagna, and I realized this is the first pasta I've eaten since... Um, being banded and I stopped I went I don't even want to know I can eat this right now because guys I do not have any restriction at all I get full but I don't have restriction you know you, you know the difference I just um, it takes me a lot to get full and uh, I kind of had that problem last time I went to the doctor and they decided that I was following the rules and I told her how stressful my life was going to be over the next month and I should have stressed to them that I wanted my fill so I do have an appointment to get a fill I think on the 29th I don't even know what day it is I'm gonna probably call my doctor today and figure that out um, but I do have a schedule for a fill this will be my third fill I'm like really far into this I'm like uh, I think tomorrow is my fifth month and I haven't even had three fills yet so, they're very slow at filling my band. Um, oh, what do I weigh? I weigh 195.5. I weigh this basically the same that I did two weeks ago. Um, I was 195. I think I went up to 196, 195. Don't ask me how I'm not gaining weight. I, you know, I know it all catches up with you eventually, but um, I don't think I'm seriously over... In fact, I know I'm not seriously overeating. And I know I'm following the rules, eating the protein first. I'm not drinking all my water because I, I just... If, if you're going to go visit a neighbor or visit a friend, Hold on. number one, do it. Really do it. But if you go, visit for more... That was a commercial on YouTube that just popped up. Okay. Um, I know I'm not overeating. Um, I just... I feel a little bit out of control because I'm not writing down what I'm eating right now and I'm not uh, I know I'm not carrying around my water and stuff it is I just have never really been I haven't been this busy in a long time and um, I, I haven't been this stressed in a long time I I've been, I have 10 more days before we have our grand opening or for, before we have our opening and then we're going to do our grand opening in September. Um, but I have 10 more days and I'm processing tons of inventory. Still building the store. We're still putting racks up. I mean, everything either has to be bought or created. Everything. 
because you walk into a space that has nothing in it that even resembles a store. So you, because our store is actually in an old cottage, that is a lot of work to put into this. I mean, I'm creating everything from curtains to signage to painting the walls, painting the trim, painting the wainscoting, um, floors, carpets, and then I have a designer who who bought these doors and spindles and they're sitting in my space and I have no idea what they're used for and all I can think of is a little kid pulling that door on top of their head and killing them. So I'm about to trash that idea. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. So I'm trying to make it safe for people. I'm trying to make it, um, you know, <clears throat> understandable uh, so that they walk in, they can see a, a flow and a system to the store. I'm sure I'll have to move things around and, but, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. It's so much work. And then on top of that, I had to learn a whole new computer system and get that to work properly. I never, ever set up a point of sale system, so I had to get that to work properly. So basically, these are all these things floating around in my head constantly where I wake up in the middle of the night and go, oh, I wake up in the middle of the night, come down to the computer and order open and close signs at 2.30 in the morning because I remembered I hadn't done it yet. That is why I'm not counting my calories. That is why I'm not drinking my water. That is why I'm not doing anything but letting my band do its job, period. Obviously, it's doing its job. I haven't gained any weight except for the fluctuation and who knows what that is. Um, if I hit my 189 by August 1st, I'll be completely shocked because that's 10 days away. So I may do a little adjustment to that goal um, to let that go into probably mid-August to give me a month to lose those six pounds. The fill will definitely help. Um, I guess the point of my video is that when you're not for, there for the lap band, the band's still there for you. And it still does its job. You just have to not push it and abuse it while you're not working it. Um, so I'm not abusing my band. I'm not stuff. I'm not. I'm trying my hardest not to pick things that are slider foods. You know. Um, and I'm. I'm looking forward to the fill. I'm looking forward to the store opening. I'm looking forward to be done with my 14, 16 hour days. Um, I'm looking forward to possibly having a clean house again one day because <laughs> I'm home. I'm looking forward to having a normal schedule next month. So pray for me, guys. Pray for me. It's so stressful, but it's getting done. If you don't hear from me next week, you know why. It's because I'm just a few days before opening and it's craziness. Um, I'm still, you know, one good thing out of all of this is that I'm not scale hopping every day. I'm not hopping on that scale four or five times a day obsessing over my weight, which is like a huge burden off of me. I look at the scale and I go, oh, I haven't weighed in a couple of days. And I hop on and look at it and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Before, I was running down the stairs first thing in the morning, taking a pee and hopping on the scale. Yeah, not right now. I don't have time for it. But uh, I got to go. It's time to take the kids to um, where they're going. And I got to go back downtown and get more fixtures because they didn't complete my order correctly yesterday. Bye, guys. Have a great week. Much success on your weight band, on your lap bands and other weight loss surgeries. And um, thank you for continuing to support me during my weird month here. Um, I hope to be back on track in two weeks. Bye.